This video is sponsored by Goofy Getaways. Tonight we are doing something brand new for us. We are dining at Hoop De Doo Review and we are here at Fort Wilderness, which we also have not done. So lots of firsts. Yeah, we're very excited. Come along with us for some rootin' tootin' good fun. <laughs> Wilderness is a massive resort. If you are coming here by car, just know that Hoop De Doo is all the way at like the boat, the boat dock side of the resort. So, which is like the complete opposite end of the parking lot. So we have parked here at the parking lot and then we're gonna take a bus all the way over to the other side of the resort. Because you are taking the internal bus system, that is going to take some time. So you wanna make sure that you're planning at least 30 to 45 minutes before your dining reservation time to get here, get parked, get all the way over there, all of those things. Even if you are not taking a car and you're coming from the boat dock from Magic Kingdom, I would still recommend giving yourself plenty of time just because Disney transportation, you never really know. And if you get here early enough, Take a little pit stop and look at the horsies. It's right next to the bus stop. You can't miss it. When it comes to Hoop Dee Review, if you don't know what it is, it's basically your stereotypical like dinner show. So you're going to join the Pioneer Hall players and it's going to be lots of clapping, dancing, singing, the whole nine yards. And it's all you care to eat. So you're going to find fried chicken, ribs, coleslaw, mac and cheese, and to end, you're even going to find strawberry shortcake. This does also include pretty much all you care to drink. I'm sure there probably is a limit to that at some point, but you can get beer, wine, sangria, and the beer is even like craft beer. So it's all included in the price if you're 21 or older. If you're a Disney resort guest and you're trying to get to Disney's Fort Wilderness, the easiest thing to do is if you were at Disney Springs or another theme park, with the exception of Magic Kingdom, which I'll get to in just a second, just use a bus. That's gonna be your easiest way to get over here. If you are at Magic Kingdom or you're transferring to, from Magic Kingdom, the easiest thing to do is to take the ferry boat. Just follow the signs. They'll tell you where exactly to go. And they'll honestly pretty much drop you off right here, right at Pioneer Hall. Just follow the signs. You can't miss it. What'd you get? I got the Beach Blonde Ale. It's from St. Pete. Let's so cheers. for this one can get a little confusing. It is, since it all is all you care to enjoy, it is like a flat rate. However, depending on where you're sitting, that is gonna determine your price. Category one is on the main level. These are gonna be the seats that are closest to the stage. These are also going to be your like wheelchair accessible seats. Pricing for that is $74 per adult and $44 per child at ages three to nine. Category two is still on the ground floor, but this is going to be kind of your perimeter seating so these will also be wheelchair accessible these aren't as prime of viewing seats so they're a little bit less expensive pricing for these is going to be $69 per adult and $40 per child and then category three these are going to be your balcony or mezzanine type seating so these will not be wheelchair accessible so keep that in mind but these are also going to be the least expensive seats so pricing for these is going to be $66 per adult and $39 per child dining reservations for this can be made 60 days in advance and keep in mind that they do charge ahead of time. So be prepared with your credit card when you make that reservation, you will be paying at that time. 
And again, included with your price is, of course, the entire experience, all you care to enjoy food, as well as all you care to enjoy beer, wine, and sangria for adults ages 21 and older. The only thing additional that you'll have to pay for is if there are some other select specialty cocktails, but even things like your gratuity are included in the price. Now is a great time to thank our sponsor for tonight's video, Goofy Getaways Travel Agency. Goofy Getaways is a complimentary travel agency that helps you create the most magical vacation ever. If having those magical moments is important to your family, which I know it is, your Goofy Getaways Travel Consultant is going to help you through every single step of the process without all of the stress of having to plan and research it on your own. Whether it's theme parks, cruising, domestic, or even international travel, Goofy Getaways has your back. Of course, Disney is what they specialize in, but there's so much more than that. Goofy Getaways is one big family, so no matter your background, your consultant is going to listen to the needs of your family and help you curate that once in a lifetime vacation. If you are interested in a no obligation free quote, you can visit GoofyGetaways.com or the link that is in the description box below. Let Goofy Getaways lead you to the magic. Now let's get back to the video. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how we lucked out. So great, like we're literally right next to the piano players. So this is gonna be really awesome. We sat down and they already had cornbread and salad and coleslaw ready to go for us. Uh, we already got our first round of drinks because again, remember you get unlimited sangria, beer and wine. Uh, it all looks amazing and I'm so excited to dig in. Kayla wasn't joking that we were literally sitting right by the piano. I mean, honestly, I don't know how we lucked out with such a good seat, but my drink is the Yeezling. It's pretty good. I haven't had this before, surprisingly. I'm not a big beer drinker, but when it's included, it's pretty good. I like it. I got the white sangria. They had a white sangria and a red sangria. So I'm starting with the white one. It's not like anything crazy, but it's good. And it's included. so far is just like chaos but like in the best way we just got the rest of our food so far the few bites that I've had are really great they're taking like a quick short short break so we'll see when they come back out so this is a lot of fun it's very very fun how's your chicken Mark these are ribs oh how's your ribs Mark they're pretty good sorry if you're vegan
in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, then you shake it all about. You took the hokey pokey, you turn yourself around. That's why it's all about. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> I like it turn now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Dolly, yeah. why don't you put in your hip? My hip? Yeah. No, I couldn't possibly put in my hip. Dolly, you got your hip. Put no, 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 no. Yeah, put your right hip in. She went to put and then it fell, and I was like, That was something, y'all. <laughs> that was honestly so, so fun. And honestly, I'm really mad that it took us that long out of how many years we've been coming to Disney. I don't know. But it was a absolute ball. Um, few things. Obviously, it was really chaotic, so we couldn't talk about it much while we were in there. But the food was really good. I was shocked how uh, good the food was. I, I was very impressed by the food. I still don't like the baked beans. Disney does not do good baked beans. They do that weird tangy thing and I don't like it. Yeah, I but would agree. But that mac and cheese was probably some of the best mac and cheese I've had on property. I would agree. The strawberry shortcake was super mm. good. Normally, like... I wasn't a fan of the strawberry shortcake. I liked it. I appreciate that the shortcake wasn't dry like a lot of strawberry yeah. shortcake can be. The ribs were really good. Not like the best ribs I've had on property, but they were good. The chicken was really good. The, the fried chicken was, I think, 
Not that I've had a lot of fried chicken on property, but I think it was probably some of the best. The mashed potatoes were delicious. They it were was, actually chunky. Overall, it was really good. Uh, the other thing I will say I wasn't, I would say I was a little disappointed about, um, was it's supposed to be like unlimited or like bottomless or whatever you want to call it. Um, and our waiter, I don't know if it was because he didn't want to disturb us because we were filming, but I only got like two little sangrias and I wanted to try the other one, but he never like came back. And we did ask um, before we even got our drinks if we could like switch and he said yes. So yeah, um, so you, you, you can, I think you probably just have to flag them down. We didn't really do that. So that was the only thing I wanted to try the other one, but I did not. But overall, I was very impressed. It was a lot of fun. It was very chaotic. The performers did an excellent job. Awesome job. job. I will let you know that if you're someone who has sensory issues or like you don't like loud sounds, bring earplugs. For sure. Bring earplugs. I have a little bit of a headache now. <laughs> but it was so fun. I'm so glad that we got to do it. Like, it, we, we haven't done something this fun in a really long time. Yeah, I, I thought earlier, I think this is some of the most fun I've had at Disney in quite a long time. Mm -hmm. Kayla and I were talking on the bus over here, because um, we're, we're right by the parking lot, if you couldn't tell. But although it is expensive, if you were to compare this to, say, the price of, like, a character meal, it's... Cause it's this pretty is, even. This is more than a character meal because right. you are getting actual entertainment with your meal. And so it is expensive, but I do think comparatively it, it makes sense. I think that it is worth it to spend the little bit. Like it's really only a couple dollars more. I think for me and Mark Allen, it, it was like a total of $16 difference between having those great seats that we had versus sitting like up in the balcony. So yeah. if... If you can swing it, I recommend getting that category one seating because you're just right in the thick of it. And quite honestly, there's really not a bad seat in the house it's because they, they do come out into the um, the rest of the room and really do a lot of like audience interaction and even some audience participation. But all in all, there's like I said, there's really not a bad seat in the house. So, you know, if you're wanting to save a little bit of money, definitely go up to the balcony. It's, I think, still a, probably a great Although we haven't done it personally, I think it would still be a great seat. But that is our evening here at Fort Wilderness, and we hope you guys enjoyed. We do want to let you know that if you want to help us decide where we dine next, we do have that as an offering on our Patreon page. When you join our Patreon, we are going, along with all of the other cool content that we have on there, uh, we are also asking your opinion on where we go next. So if you want more details on that, that is in the description box below. And thanks again to Goofy Getaways for having us out for dinner. Yes, and that is all we have for you guys today. Now, now go, go create, create your, your ever, ever after. after. We do Disney of, oh my gosh. Mm. I'm not trying to say we. Oh, that's hard to say. Beautifully as I. Wasn't that beautiful? <laughs>